captain and storyteller today here aboard the Bell from Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Now before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone to please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside of the boat and please supervise your children. Once upon a time, we got swallowed by Monster the Whale. Monstro is the very same whale that swallowed Pinocchio, so don't you worry, folks. He was a cool every little boy. He built a fire down in the belly of Monstro that was so hot, it made him squeeze his tail right off, creating our very own magical entrance right into Storybook Land. And making Monstro half the whale he used to be. But as they say, where one tail ends, another begins. Now, just ahead, on the left-hand side, you'll notice the cave of the big bad wolf. Unfortunately for him, he doesn't know how to swim, so he can't get over to the other side where the three little pigs live, where the first pig made his house of straw, the second out of sticks, and the third, just in case that wolf gets over, is made out of 100% wolf-proof bricks. Now, just around the river bend, on the left, you will notice the quaint little English village where Alice lives. You gotta remain seated, buddy, okay? Yeah. Sit down. One golden afternoon, she lied under a giant oak tree. She noticed a white rabbit in a red vest, so she decided to follow him down, down, down the rabbit hole into Wonderland, where things got curiouser and curiouser. Over on the right is London Park. Peter Pan, with the help of Tinkerbell and her pixie dust, flew Wendy, John, and Michael Darling right over the park on their way to Neverland, where they never, ever had to grow up. Just ahead is the mysterious city of Agrabah, full of enchantment and wonder. Princess Jasmine lives up above in the palace, and down below is the busy marketplace where her and Aladdin first met. Now they say Aladdin is the prince of thieves, but he only stole what he couldn't afford, which was everything. We are now sailing under the same rose-covered arches that Aladdin took Jasmine over, sideways, and under on a magic carpet ride into a whole new world. And as we sing that song, folks, every turn is a surprise, and do I have a surprise for you. Keep your hands, arms, and fingers inside, and don't touch anything, because we are now entering the Cave of Wonders. Yes, the Cave of Wonders, where we have who's its and what's its galore. You want thing with boss? We've got plenty. Legend has it that if you close your eyes and make a wish, it just might come true. Oh, Did somebody wish to see where Snow White lives? Because on the right is the cozy little cottage that she shared with Doc, Sleepy, Sneezy, Grumpy, Bashful, Happy, and Dopey. Just beyond that is the jewel mine where those seven dwarves like to whistle while they work. On the left is the beautiful French chateau Cinderella once shared with her evil stepmother and two wicked stepsisters. But don't you worry folks, she does not live there anymore. Because with the help of her fairy godmother and some bippity boppity boo magic, she has upgraded to that pink and gold palace with her prince charming, living happily ever after. That just goes to show folks what a good pair of shoes can do for a girl. If you like it, put a shoe on it. Turning the page into our next chapter, we have our giant patchwork quilt. Inspired by Walt Disney's Silly Symphony of Lullaby Lamp, it's comprised of 23 different desert blooms. And in case you are wondering, folks, yes, all of the plant life here in Storybook Land is 100% real. She has shrunken down to a miniature size in a process known only to Tinkerbell and her fairy friends. Unfortunately, the miniaturizing process does not work on our ducks. But the plants grow no more than one inch per year. Some of them are over 150 years old. parks his car outside, but I don't think he's home right now. He's probably off on a wild ride in Fantasyland to nowhere in particular. Either that or he just got towed. On the left we have the three Dutch windmills from Disney's The Old Mill. The one in the center is the most important. That's what sheltered the animals during the Great Storm. The other two are just general mills. And up ahead is the beautiful Alpine Village where Pinocchio lives. 
That little wood carving shop is where Geppetto made Pinocchio, and with the help of the Blue Fairy, he was able to achieve his dreams of being a real live boy. No strings attached. Now on the right you'll see Prince Eric's ship, docked on the sandy white beaches where Ariel took her very first steps on land with her very own human. What's that word again? But of course, before Ariel was part of our world, she was part of another. Under the sea. If you look on the left half of the waterfall, you'll catch a glimpse of her old home, the Kingdom of Atlantica. But just like all stories, ours must come to an end too. As we approach the dock, please keep your hands, arms, and fingers away from the dock side of the boat. And on my magical count of three, we will all stand up together so we don't tip the boat and nobody has to find Nemo the hard way. <laughs> this is a real boat. That is real water, and if you fall in, you will get real wet. <laughs> Once again, my name is Daniel. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here at Disneyland. Peace.